Neutral Tandem was already in the voice business, but limited to the US. The acquisition of TNET allows us to grow global in the voice business. So now we can terminate, uh, be closer to our international customers, connect to them in London, in Hong Kong, Singapore, Amsterdam, Frankfurt, wherever, and be able to transport that, net, uh, that voice call from locations outside of the US, connect Kind of by connecting to our customers outside of the U.S. and terminating into our footprint, the dense footprint that we have in the U.S. And once we connect to customers outside of the U.S., we can do the other way around, the vice versa, which is have traffic that is going from U.S. carriers, carriers to, to, to carriers outside of the U.S. and connect them directly through our IP network, combined IP network. So for a voice business, it's expansion of our voice business in the U.S. at a global level. Genius IP transit business is pretty big. They are uh, in the top 10, uh, or top seven actually in terms of volume for, for IP transit. Uh, and they're in the tier one club for IP transit. So they've reached a tier one status as actually as recently as uh, probably uh, June or July of this year. And They've grown pretty nicely in the IP transit business, uh, taken market share, and 25% of the revenue comes from the US. And this allows them to expand in the US a little more because of our relationships in the US and our carrier relationships in the US. By connecting our networks together and infrastructure, we have instantly gone from 14 exchanges in the US to about 99 worldwide, right? Because of their presence in uh, so many different countries and, and their pops all around the world. So now we can take a Ethernet circuit by one connection in the U.S., say in Chicago, and take it right uh, to China and deliver it to a particular building in China through TNET's NNIs with China Telecom. Right? Uh, or any other country that they have NNIs. They have 15 NNIs already and they're working on many more. The NNIs allow them to have uh, interconnection with the regional or incumbents within those countries. Uh, and that allows customers in the US to reach uh, buildings in those countries and vice versa for customers in London and Hong Kong to now use their network, NRs, to come to the US and, and get buildings in the US that we would provide through our exchange. So it's really more of a global exchange now with 99 points of presence that allows people to interconnect at an Ethernet level also. I think there is a huge need for the exchanges to provide value to the buyer or the seller of Ethernet services. Uh, so you have to provide value, and I think by providing a network uh, uh, of exchanges, as opposed to just specific locations for exchanges. And uh, the idea of actually providing um, connectivity to hard to reach, at, uh, hard for, for hard to reach places or, for, with, or with carriers that people would otherwise not actually take the time to connect is what the real value the exchange provides. And, the, and I think the whole idea that uh, we are able to provide connectivity to uh, very hard to reach places uh, with the TNET uh, acquisition is really where the value is going to be. Uh, if, you can, if you look at what's happening to Ethernet exchanges today, it's been announced probably, the, the first one was announced probably uh, almost a year ago. And I don't think much has happened uh, in that space. Uh, when it is limited to a specific location and possibly only the U.S. Uh, and, and the locations that have been, uh, that people have put exchanges in are places like New York and Chicago and L.A. where carriers already have connectivity with other carriers. Those are the big places where people already have connectivity. They don't need an exchange guy to be there necessarily. The need for exchanges uh, in tier two, tier three cities. Uh, in hard to reach places around the world uh, and uh, to connect to you know, carriers that you know, one would not deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. So I think if you can uh, bring all that stuff together in a nice way, in a streamlined way, that's when the value of an exchange really 
uh, is perceived a lot better in a customer's viewpoint. And I think that is where the, the game is, and we believe we are the first to provide uh, a worldwide uh, exchange uh, that is capable of actually doing exactly that. Predominantly, we're a switching service, and most of our services today are all gig services, carrying SIP service to our customers. Again, it had started with an OC48 TDM connections to our services. We're now doing more and more 1 gig and 10 gig connections to our customers to do predominantly SIP services today. But you know, we're transitioning to the Ethernet exchange and really need that capacity to enable the Ethernet exchange services. Uh, we just recently have upgraded from a OC48 to a ADVA DWDM ring. Using the ADVA gear, it's allowed us to increase from just doing a single OC48 over our dark fiber to now we're able to do 40 10 gig services over that same dark fiber. So it's increased our capacity, what is that, more than 40 fold and then four times on top of that. So a, a huge increase to our, to our network and the capacity we have tying those locations together. With the ADVA gear, it's really enabling us to do the one gig and 10 gig connections predominantly one between exchanges, so from our exchange to the Telex exchange, and then also it's allowing us to turn up connections into the exchange, so a one gig connection into the exchange, and then at the exchange we're really doing cross connects at the, the lower level. We're doing a VLAN tagging to be able to do 10 meg, 100 meg, 50 meg connections between carriers but the connections to those carriers are one gig and 10 gig connections that we can write over the ADVA gear. And the real driving force and the differentiator for Neutral Tandem is that we connect all of our exchanges together. So if somebody is connected to an exchange at 60 Hudson and they're connected at our switch site at 75 Broad, we will connect any carrier at 60 Hudson to any carrier at 75 Broad. We also take that same concept ac across the country and if a carrier is connected at 60 Hudson and needs to be connected in one Wilshire, we can connect them over our MPLS backbone between those two locations. And that's a real differentiator in how Neutral Tandem's deployed our Ethernet exchange. <laughs> Ethernet Exchange is a great platform to meet the needs for mobile backhaul. It allows us to connect to all of the Tier 2, Tier 3 carriers and allows the large mobile carriers just a single connection to the exchange. That single connection allows them to get to all of the Tier 2, Tier 3 carriers, uh, streamlining their connectivity to all of the different Tier 2 and Tier 3 providers that have access and facilities to all of those cell sites across the country. Thank <laughs> you.